Now that we have unboxed the printer, let's take a look at setup. First, you will need to remove the protective film from the battery. The battery is shipped in sleep mode, which greatly extends the shelf life and has to be awoken from sleep mode by having power applied to it. For that, you could use an external accessory such as a battery cradle, or you could apply power to the battery while it is inserted inside the printer by the expedient of applying power through the power port from an AC adapter or a DC adapter. You will then need to add a roll of media. So opening up the spring-loaded media bay and holding the media guides apart to a suitable width, insert the drop-in roll of media, close the media bay window, and you are ready to go. Bluetooth printers are shipped with Bluetooth being set to non-discoverable. So to connect a smart device, you will need to press and hold the feed key for five seconds. The printer will indicate that Bluetooth is now discoverable by a Bluetooth logo which will flash on the screen there. That will then allow you to connect your device if you are doing so with the passive NFC tag or other Bluetooth connection method. And you would want to do that to get to the product information on the website landing page. There is an alternative method of accessing this information and that is by scanning the QR code on the lower printer housing. If we tap and pair the passive NFC code uh, and select the web browser option on our smart device, that takes us to a website landing page and we can scroll through the information to select whatever we need in terms of how-to guides. We have a lot of uh, useful how-to videos that are available. There's information about the supplies, service options and links to other useful information including product collaterals and the full user guide. 